guys and welcome to the very 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 first treasure news and what a better way to start out with treasure news than the biggest treasure story of all time I'm not exaggerating it is a fact this is the biggest story which has ever come out in the in the treasure hunting world bigger than Tutankhamun's finding him in in his little pyramid thingamabob this is massive okay it's all to do with the Nazi uh, gold train which has been found in Poland. A lot of you will know about this because uh, the story broke a week ago. But the story is carrying on. I, I was thinking it's just a fake story but it's not. So I'm going to tell you the facts, okay? Okay, so firstly, one Polish guy and one German guy have come forward and said we have found a train laden with the Nazi World War II gold. Okay? True. This is what apparently has happened. The reports coming out are saying that there could be anything from $30 billion worth of gold up to $400 billion worth of gold on this train. That I've never even, I can't imagine how much money that is. That's just ludicrous. And these two treasure hunters have been very clever. They've gone to a, to a lawyer, firstly. As soon as they found it, they went to a lawyer and they says, look, we found this. And the lawyers advise them, right, we'll send a letter, which they have. Send a letter to the authorities and say, right, we'll tell you where this is as long as we can have 10% of whatever's on, on board the train. <laughs> Piśmie wskazały, że oczekują 10% znalezionego od wartości tego, co się w tym pociągu znajduje. Więc do mnie mamy, że te osoby mają wiedzę na temat tego, co tam jest. Very clever, and I don't blame them for that. I would. I think that's fair, 10%. Um, so you think about it. If, it. if it's proven there's 400 billion dollars of gold on this train, these two guys are going to get $20 billion each. It'll make them two of the richest people in the world. All for finding a train in Poland. Get in. Now, when I, I, I was in Germany, and I know I made fun about the story a lot, but whilst I was there, I, I was legitimately looking for Hitler's lost gold. Because it's a fact. There is gold missing which was stolen by the Nazis and by Hitler which no one has ever found. That is a fact. There is a local tour guide who has said um, there has always been rumours in that small area that there is a Nazi treasure train missing. Uh, no one's ever found it but there has always been rumours that there was one there. During the war people were pretty sure there was a train going backwards and forward full of gold, full of treasure, going back to Germany and uh, nobody knows what happened to it. It is a fact that during World War II there is a castle in this area where it's supposedly being found. There is a castle which has tunnels built underneath it um, for trains to come in, basically to bring in Hitler's officials and they could use it as a hotel. That was the plan. It was going to be a hotel for Hitler's officials Just today it has been reported that and and this is true a significant find has been confirmed by officials and The military are now guarding and protecting the area where this significant find is it's all leading to it being a true story. This is so exciting, it's untrue. So how did this train end up in Poland in the first place? Well, when Germany occupied Poland, it was a known fact that they used to stash uh, gold in the city of Wroclaw, okay? Now Wroclaw, I have spent two years, uh, two Christmases in Wroclaw. I was that close from this gold. This isn't a million miles away from Wroclaw where they found this train. That's where it comes from. And they the think that the, when the Russians 
push the Germans back. The Germans retreated, they ran away, we went back to Germany and they couldn't get the train back out of Poland back into Germany so they had to leave it. That's the story going around. That's, that's why we think there could possibly be a train full of gold in Poland. Now this is what gets me. These two treasure hunters who found this train, okay, they've gone to a lawyer, they've been in touch with the authorities, they say, we'll tell you where it is um, if we can have 10%. Now, these two treasure hunters released pictures showing a ventilation shaft which they went in to find this train, which the saying is basically the entrance to the tunnel this train is in is uh, blown up at each end so nobody can get in but they've named the town they've supposedly named a castle it could be related to they've shown pictures of the ventilation shaft surely the authorities can say well thank you for telling us all this we don't need you anymore we can find it ourselves from everything you've told us why haven't the authorities just found it themselves? Or have they found it themselves? Nobody knows. But they are saying a significant find has been found today. I'd love to be able to tell you what the conclusion of this story is. But I can't yet because nobody knows. They're saying it could take up to six months to dig this train out. The authorities and the police or army or whoever who are looking after this area are saying they don't want anyone going near it because it could be booby trapped because the Nazis were very well known for booby trapping things like this with mines around so they're thinking it could be very dangerous they're saying it could take six months to dig this out so it might be six months before I can update you on this but as soon as I can I blooming well will do and if this story turns out to be true okay and they find this train and it has got billions of pounds billions of dollars worth of uh, gold on it who, whose gold is it? Who gets the gold? Poland are going to want it because it's being found in Poland. Russia are going to want it because they're saying a lot of the gold was stolen from Russia. Germany will want it because they'll say they had it at the time. There's going to be dozens and dozens of countries wanting this gold and potentially millions of families putting in claims as well. You know, if you had a Jewish family who, who, who had to go to a concentration camp and got killed and they took the ring off or, and a necklace maybe you want you want it back it's on this train if this goes to court if, if this is found and goes to court this will be the biggest court case of all time bar none you will literally the, the potential is for literally over a million people claiming part of this gold I'm fascinated I'm absolutely fascinated this is bigger than the OJ Simpson court case I'm telling you massive massive I'm absolutely fascinated by it I've never heard anything as exciting in my life a little bit more news coming out today the found Inside a pyramid in Egypt, they found uh, an embalmed um, pharaoh, a pharaoh's body, yes? And apparently it's been embalmed in chocolate and hazelnuts. Chocolate and hazelnuts! Now, it's not being confirmed, and we don't even know if this is a true story, but they're saying this could be... It could be the body of, of, of the legendary pharaoh, Rocher. Stay tuned, if I hear any more... I'll let you know. This has been Treasure News. Catch you next time.